Hey, welcome Lakeview Nation. This is uh, Senior High Drawing Art. We are going to learn how to use a ballpoint pen for drawing. And so I have a ballpoint pen here, I have one here, and I have one here. Um, we're also going to learn about what I call the artist pen, which is an archival ink, and it is very similar to a ballpoint pen. So I'm going to show you these techniques, which we call hatching, cross hatching, scribble gesture, and then we'll talk about stipple and whatnot later. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, to make my hatch, I'm going to make a small series of squares, and that small series of squares I'm going to use to make my hatching. So my hatches are going to be really quite simple. They follow a pattern, and that pattern is this. So I'm going to draw a line that goes across, and it's going to go across in all of them. I'm going to make this one broken, but I'm going to keep that one solid. That one's going to be solid. I'm going to make this one broken again. This one's going to be solid, solid, solid. Broken, broken, solid, solid, solid. Broken, solid, solid, solid. Broken, broken, solid, solid, solid. Now, I have some space, more space, more white here. I'm going to go here, and I'm going to make a series of hatch marks that goes like this. I made that one closer together. You can already see a value change here. Now I'm going to add that same amount of value marks here, and I'm going to add that same amount here. Now, these all three look the same, so now I'm going to add more here. I'm going to add more hatches as I go through, and you should see it start to get darker. Now, with hatches, the less white space showing through, the darker the value becomes, the more intense the value gets, and the more abrupt the change in your value. So there we go. There's my first set of cross hatches, or my first set of hatches, and I'm adding more and more layers. That side should get darker and less and less white showing through. And so that should look like a series of hatch marks that I've made, and that's with my ballpoint pen. Now, my cross hatching is gonna be the same thing, but this time I'm gonna use my artist pen. Now. It is very similar. It has a ball tip on the end as well. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to make a series of broken lines here. Over here, I'm not going to make broken. And I'm going to all go the same direction. They're all going to be vertical. I mean, horizontal in your viewpoint, vertical in mine. Now I'm going to change this and I'm going to add a few broken cross and they're just crossing. So now these are going to cross, and these are going to cross. Now I would do the same technique with my ballpoint pen. Now I'm going to add some more. This is already distinctly different. So I'm going to add my third layer is going to be a diagonal at 45 degrees. Now I'm going to turn it again, and I'm going to cross this one. Notice I turn my paper to make it easier that I don't have to adjust my hand. All right, so now these two are the same. This is distinctly looking different. There's four here. I'm going to go five. That one was horizontal. There's five there. Now I'm going to go cross. Here's my cross on the six. Here's six here. Now I'm going to stay six there, and I'm going to go... Seven, eight, nine, ten, and you can see it getting darker. Eleven, twelve, yeah, that's a nice dark layer. Now, there is, so this was hatching. All the lines go the same direction. This one, and I'm using the ballpoint pen here, this is cross hatching, and all the lines cross each other. And we create value this way. And we can control how we create value by how we make these marks. So the next one I'm gonna do is what I call scribble gesture. And scribble gesture is exactly what it sounds like. It's gonna be a series of scribbles. So I'm gonna make a series of scribbles and I'm going to do it with the ballpoint pen or the, with the archival pen so you can see the difference. And then I'm going to do this one. Notice I got tighter and smaller with my circles. 
and I'm adding those in. Less white is showing through. And then now I'm going to get really small with my circles. And I could go all over if I wanted. It can cross. It can be, you can just, now you just come in and you just keep hammering. Your pencil, your marker doesn't, your pen, <laughs> it doesn't have to go in a specific pattern. But um, just as long as you get, it fills differently. And you can see the difference between this one and this one. So they look different. So a scribble gesture has a tendency to look scribbled. So that's why we call it scribble gesture. Now, those are the techniques used by both. Now, I'm going to do a very small drawing here. I'm going to make a square. I'm going to make my foreshortened box. Draw my lines. Come down, come down. Now I'm going to draw this line down, down, down. And I'm going to draw a line here and a line here. It's going to go up. It's going to go up. And I'm going to get a line that goes here and a line that goes here. Now, this line goes all the way up. I'm going to put my light source over here. So that means if I was doing this in hatching, I could now go, this is the darkest portion. So I'm going to make my hatch marks right here. And I'm going to have dark hatch over here. All right, so I've got one layer of hatch marks there. This is going to be my darkest layer, so I'm going to keep making it dark, and I'm going to keep going. But what I'm going to start to do here in just a little bit is I'm going to go all the way across. But I want to put in a few hatch marks on that side first. And I'm okay if it gets a little fuzzy on the edges. So I got two layers of hatch. I'm not going to touch this because the light's shining on it or this one. But watch what I do. I can go all the way across. Now, I'm actually doing this a little unusual. And the fact that I am going the same direction and I'm using horizontal lines instead of vertical. Oh, now you can already see a difference. So I'm going to do that same thing. i got to finish this one here. I'm going to go here. I'm going to add one more layer in. And then as I do this one, this one's going to get crossed. And that will continue to make that side darker. And any spot that you feel that you have to go over again, go ahead and do that. But there should be a distinct difference between these two values. If there isn't, then go ahead and go over it. All right. Now, I'm going to add a little background in. So I'm going to put a little horizon line in. And I'm going to just do one layer of hatch there. Now, we get something that's called a principle of art and design called unity because of the same strokes being made. So I'm going to give a little bit of sky arch, which means that my sky is darkest at the top, and then it gets lighter as it gets down. And that helps to draw that light area out there. And there is a hatching box within a box done with a ballpoint pen. If I did the same thing and I did it in cross hatching, it would be very similar. Put my dots, draw my, okay? And I'm gonna draw two more. All right, so now if I was to do cross hatching, I could do the same thing and do the same technique. Except now, notice I started with a diagonal line. And I put in my darkest area first. I want to make sure that's good and dark. I'm going to turn this because whenever I do cross hatching, that's what I do. And I'm going to cross hatch this and color this the same way that I did with the hatching, except I'm going to do it now a little faster because I'm going to hit pause and come back. All right, as you can see, I have finished the, this is cross hatching here. This was just hatching. So this one's going to be scribble, 
and it's done the same way. So I'm going to start with my dark spot and I'm going to put in my scribble. And because that gets a little, I can go over and into there. And I'm going to do the dark part there. And the advantage of scribble gesture is that it goes all over. I think scribble gesture goes a little faster. It's a little less organized. Um, it doesn't follow that same kind of pattern. So it, 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 it happens quicker and it's a little more fun to do. But it's also a little... All right. These are the uh, two techniques, that can, three techniques that can be done with uh, archival pen and um, with, uh, with a ballpoint pen. In the, remember I showed you this, this is Murray Tinkleman and he did this book that used to be in our library. This is all cross hatching here. That's the bottom of a seafloor. Ah, here is a target tiger shark and this one is all done in, there's cross hatching and hatching. He combines both of them and he uses them. And notice he layers in more hatches where he wants it to be subtle and change. Here is a great white shark um, that he did. Um, and here is a tiger shark again. Again, notice the hatching. Notice how he does this. And then on the back side, um, he's got where he's just used hatching. So these are two really cool techniques that can be done. Three techniques that can be done. There's no scribble gesture in this. But this is our hatching, cross hatching and uh, scribble gesture with ballpoint pen and artist pen.